What's up guys, it's Preets coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 230 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. Hope you guys are all having a great old day. Let's see these stats. So we start off with flight, invincibility, below average tier rate, above average damage, like really good damage. Not really that bad of tier 8. We also have the trinket that gives us soul hearts, uh, or has a chance to give us a half soul heart every time we pick up a penny. And we get good health, flight, all the goodies. So this is going to be a very, very solid run to get to start out with. I almost took damage really, really fast there, but that doesn't matter. We will be fine. So I feel pretty good about this. Uh, we don't have a lot of red heart health, so I think it's definitely going to be an angel deal run, which I think we kind of need. I've not been going to Mega Satan a lot recently, so... I feel like as long as we go to Mega Satan this run, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Also, my audio is recording. Everything's recording. We're all good. It's beautiful. It's a good day. And I am so full. I just finished eating dinner not too long ago. We got some Peruvian chicken. Quite good, but it's a lot of food. I ordered a half chicken instead of a quarter chicken. And, man, it's a lot of food. Half a half a rotisserie of chicken? Crazy. But it was good. It's like some, one of my favorite meals to get. Those Peruvians, they know how to make their chicken. It's insane. It's like crack. I don't understand it. But yeah. Also, uh, you guys probably saw I didn't release a eating streak yesterday. Pretty much what happened was, my friends were like, hey, everybody down for some Valorant? They're like, let's play Valorant at 8.15. And it was actually 5.15, uh, my friend in California's time. He's like, let's play then. So I was like, okay. So we started playing Valorant. We played Valorant really late. By the time we finished, it was already like 11. I'm like, I'm not going to start recording a video at 11. That's just way too late to start something. So, I just had fun with friends. And that's just how it goes sometimes. So, hope you guys are okay with that. Also, I did see a lot of the comments. People do like the mustache. I see. Somebody somebody did comment and say, Since you asked, having a wispy looking mustache does not make you look older. It screams I'm 15. Now, I don't know if that was directed at me. But I, I got <laughs> my friends and I got a laugh out of it. We're like, dang, that's crazy. That's it's harsh. I'm like, it's my mustache isn't really wispy, I don't think. It looks good. It looks so good. Somebody say it looks fantastic. Okay, what do I want to do here? Do I want to get the moolah or do I want to get something else? Because I can probably get the money. That's going to be four cents, which is going to total 12 cents. So my best bet is actually to go into the secret room, which I think is going to be right here. And that wasn't the worst. Let's see what's in here as well. Nothing. That's too bad. I probably should have just bombed. If I really wanted to get compass, I could have just bombed the donation machine. But I don't think it's really worth it. Compass is good, but I don't think I need mapping that badly. And luckily, his invincibility is going to help me out a lot this run. Especially if I can get something like Mom's Heals, which lets us do uh, 12 contact damage uh, whenever we run into an enemy. It's actually really crazy. I didn't know for the longest time that Mom's Heals, Mom's Heal was what let you do contact damage. I just realized that sometimes I, my my own my, myself did contact damage. Like if I ran to an enemy, they would die a little bit. And sometimes it didn't happen. I was really confused. But yeah, there are items that let you do contact damage yourself. It's pretty crazy. I think Unicorn, uh, Unicorn Horn does that as well, but not Unicorn Stump or something like that. Because I don't think you do contact damage with Unicorn Horn or Stump. And dang, we do not have a high tier rate. And it is quite obvious. Nice. We do get a tier 8 up, which is awesome. Exactly what I needed. We will go this way. No bomb, sadly. We'll just drop down. And we have a lot of health. We're going to have a lot of health since we have like health generation with our soul heart item. So I'm pretty excited about this. And Curse of the Blind. Might as well just take the left item. And I am actually a huge, huge fan of Explosivo because... It is just a lot of damage, especially to bosses. Lots of bosses, uh, they kind of just like run around, float around. So they can't lose the Explosivo. So you shoot like 10 tiers, the boss is pretty much dead after that. at that point. The only issue is when you get something like a uh, pin or the skeleton boss dude who goes underground. Anything that goes underground or like jumps, they do lose the Explosivo that's stuck to them. So you got to be careful about that. But it makes a lot of bosses easier. Like especially like Mega Satan. Mega Satan doesn't really do much, so you can kill him pretty easily. Isaac does disappear, so Isaac is a little bit rough with Explosivo. Not really rough, but Explosivo doesn't make the fight easier necessarily. 
But it makes a lot of rooms easier because you either kill them by shooting them or they eventually explode because you've shot them. It's not bad. I should have gone to the curse room or the sacrifice room. I just always, I don't forget to do it. I just don't do it. I don't know. I always, I'm just like, well, I can't get anything out of there. So I'm not going to go in there. Was that a lucky penny? Not a lucky penny. Um, I'm gonna. If I get 15 cents, I'm gonna buy the 15 cent item, just cause I can. Also, if you guys didn't know, blue fires you can walk between. I know, kind of a crazy concept, but it is possible. It's the same hitbox as spikes, and let's go. What the heck? Black candle, awesome. It's but it's a really weird hitbox, and I know. Do I need to take that damage? No, but I wanted to get the the bomb. Bombs are really really important in this game. Just because finding a secret room can make a difference. Secret rooms are really, really good. Uh, I'm going to go back to the uh, the sacrifice room real quick. See if I can find anything. This might be one of those floors that has a really, really weird spot for the secret room. If I had to guess, currently. Actually, I feel like it's just right here. Yep, that makes sense. There's not really any other rooms it could have been in. Unless it was like off the item room up in this corner. But the game doesn't like to spawn it in this spot right here. It's not a usual spot. If there's no other place, it will spawn there, but it's just a little whack. And we do get a devil deal. Do I go for the guaranteed angel deals? The question. I don't have a lot of health, so I would. I think we just don't go for the devil deal at all. And yeah, I probably should have come in this room first before like bombing that wall. But. By bombing that wall, I kind of realized that it was either there or above the item room, so it wasn't the worst idea ever. I know, I should just use my invincibility, but I always feel like there's not a good time to use it. Okay, ooh, explosivo, please. No. That's fine. Also, one thing that's kind of weird in this game is if you have flight, you'll notice that like the way you move is slightly different from whenever you don't have flight. You have less like friction on the ground, so you can start moving and change directions a lot faster, it seems like. I think that's true. It's just that's just from my own personal experience. It's a little whack. You know what? I'm gonna check what's in here. Well, I regret checking what's in here. But this is fine. Void's bad. Void's not the the, the worst, but it's not worth it. And also Guffy's collar really isn't worth it. But we at least saw it. We can still get an angel chance. We still have money that we can donate to the shop, which is cool. And we have the beggar card, or the judgment card, which is cool. Do I need to do anything else? Not really, but we do know where the super secret room is. It's right here. At least it should be. And that gives us two of these chests, which we can blow up for free. I like these rooms that have the put out fires already, because it's so easy. Don't need that. And... That's nice. Not too bad. I think I will start donating some money on the next floor, just to get the, high, the higher angel chance. We don't have a super high one. We'll have the 37.5% chance in total. Something like that. What is it? Yeah, 37.5% chance. About. So. It's not a great chance. Don't really need to donate too much on this floor, but I do want to try to get an angel deal sooner rather than later. I know some people might be like, just skip the devil deal. I like seeing what's in there. If we get like an early brimstone or an early like eye of the occult or just something fun, I would rather take it than not take it. Oh, that was bad damage. Oh, but we have Bloody Gust. I completely forgot about that. We just haven't been hit that much this game. Okay, I forgot we have Flight as well, so I can just fly over Spikes. Don't care about any of that. Do I care about any of this? I don't care about Scooper, but Peeper? That's kind of funny. They're literally like the same item, but one's an active item. Okay, uh, might as well just donate money here. I don't really care about the Soul Heart. We get a higher luck chance, which is cool, which means we can fire Exocevo just a little bit more. Every single little luck stat really helps when it comes to t uh, luck based tier effects. This is nice. I like this. I like this a lot. And judgment. Don't need to use that right now. One of the best uses for judgment is it's almost a. It is pretty much a guaranteed item spawn. So if you ever find a secret room that has a reroll machine in it, you can just use, use that. It's the easiest way to get an item to spawn in a secret room. One of the easiest ways. Uh, do I know where the secret room is currently? No, it's still not there. Might be over this way. What is this? This is the strength card. Doesn't help me too much. Secret room right here? Nope. Interesting. Oh, I feel like the secret room is going to be off this room to the side over here. Let's go take a gander. 
And we do get to go to the curse room for free since we have the book of uh, the book of shadows. I used to used to call it book of Invi invincibility, and I think in my dead god video I called it the book of an invisibility. There was a lot of things wrong, a lot of things wrong. What the heck? This is one of those floors that I just. It's really hard to tell where the secret room is going to be. Like, this is a really, really strange spot. We're fine. This is all good. We can fly in here. Nice bomb. And might as well shoot this, see what we get. Some moolah. And imagine we get the angel deal on this floor. That'd be super sick. Look at this health. If I could get Humble Bundle. Does Humble Bundle... If I pick up two pennies that are stacked together, I think we only can get one half soul heart from that, I believe. I really don't know though. I don't know a lot of stuff. That's fine. Can't go to the boss arena room or the boss challenge room. Don't really care about the strength card. It could help me for the boss fight, but I have Explosivo, so it shouldn't be too bad. We know that the boss we're about to fight is not one that can like go underground or anything. So Explosivo does still work in this fight. We know it can't go underground because we already fought Wormwood. Okay, nothing. We did see Mom's coin purse already this run, which is kind of weird. Amnesia, explosive diarrhea, puberty. Nice. I'll take you. And I can't really bomb this, so I'm just gonna go next floor. We don't need to go alt path right this second. I'm not going for mother. I'm not really going for much right this second. It's weird. Flooded caves. I was really confused. I'm like, what the heck? How do we get back to downpour? Definitely not downpour. Pretty fly is not bad. Whenever you get a pretty fly pillar during a run, you know it's going to be a good run. Because it's so, so hard to get hit once you have three pretty flies. Like, a lot of tiers get blocked. There's, like, just such a, such a small window that a tier has to go through for it to hit you. You still take contact damage, and a lot of things can still happen, but it's not too bad. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just losing health right now. Simple as that. Okay. These worms do annoy me greatly. I wish I could have just a little bit more damage. I mean, we have a lot of damage right now. It's kind of weird how we just don't do much damage. But hopefully, there's going to be a really good item right here, right? Right? Please? Don't care about Wheel of Fortune. Ram Dice Room Effect doesn't help me. Vasculitis is really, really not good. It's kind of like... Uh, Ooh, what is it called? Something vesicle. Some. Nope. I don't know what it's called. There's the item that whenever you get hit causes you to shoot tears, like uh, Isaac's Vat of Tears. Um, but this one makes so enemies, when they die, they shoot out a bunch of red tears. But it's really distracting because I never know what tears are what. Like when an enemy explodes, is that them shooting? Or is that my tears doing their thing? Okay, my eyeball was very confusing right there. I do like this smaller pupil though. It's more exciting. It's funnier looking. Okay, don't jump again, please. Thank you. And like, look at that. Why are they red tears? They scare me. I guess this is gonna be maybe a devil deal run. Nope, we're still going for angel deals. Might as well find the, eh, don't even care about finding the shop if I'm being honest. We'll go to mines because why not? We're pretty strong. We haven't really gotten too many good items. I believe in the system. So let's blow all these up. Satisfying. And we'll see what we can do. Okay. What the heck? I don't know why. I'm like really bad at that room right there. I've gotten hit in it so many times. With flight, it makes it really, really easy to not get hit. But the amount, the, the amount of times I've been hit in that room is kind of humiliating. Okay, ghost, stop. I didn't think it was going to fly that high. Also, Explosivo can do damage to me, which is not fun. So I just have to be careful about that. Please, Moon Card, have something good. Nothing. But we do get two Soul Hearts. That's actually crazy. I do like that a lot. Yeah, right there, like the, the red tears that come out of uh, Vasculitis or whatever it's called. It's scary. Deadeye is the obvious choice here. If you don't take Deadeye, you're not playing the game correct. Like, look at that. Deadeye just gives you so much damage. It's actually ridiculous. Let me come in here real quick. Ooh, Pentagram is so good. This is why you go into Curse Rooms. Lots of the times, it doesn't help. But when it does help, it is huge. 
it's just really nice. It's like right there, pentagram gives us a higher deal chance um, overall, which is really cool. It's really confusing. Whenever you look and an item gives you plus 10% or something like that, it gives you plus 10% before it deducts any of the percent. So like, if we had 100%, we now have a total of 110%. So now with every single floor, you get a third of that. So instead of having a um, 33% chance, we have a 40% chance. So that's how that math works. Because the third of 110, I'm pretty sure. And don't really want Alabaster Box. We've been doing Alabaster Box a lot recently, and it's really not, it's not my favorite. I'm going to be honest. I might as well take this pill. Speed up tears down is pretty much the worst pill I could have gotten right there. And the strength pill, not the worst, but I think I want the judgment pill or judgment card. I don't know why I keep saying the word pill. Yeah, I'm going to take the judgment card. Actually, is this last one minute? Might as well. I've never understood why a bunch of the cards last one minute when a bunch of like the other, like many of the original cards only last like a single floor or a single, yeah, a single room. Nice. That's huge. We didn't have that many bombs already, so that's nice. Oh my gosh. Can we get any more troll bombs? Thank you though. But yeah. Whenever you see like the 10% chance from, uh, Levi or not Leviathan from Pentagram, you might think like, why am I not actually getting that 10%? It's all because it's like, it's all percentage based. You, you're still getting that plus 10%, but it is reduced because you don't have the guaranteed 100% uh, angel deal or devil deal, angel deal chance. And it, many people don't know that the chance actually does go above 100. So if you have, let's say like, I think magnet increases your chances. I think magnet increases your chances. Book of uh, Book of Revelation change it, make, uh, changes your chances. Like a bunch of different items can change it, and so you can actually have a greater than 100% chance. But then there's items like the key pieces, which don't increase your chance overall. It only increases your angel deal chance. So instead of getting a 50-50 breakdown between your angel deal and your devil deal chance, it is more like a it's like a 60-40% chance or something like that. Actually, I think it I think it becomes what is it? I don't know, maybe it's like an increase of a fifth. I don't know what it is. It's very confusing. Okay, at least what the heck? Let's stop taking damage real quick and then we'll be solid. Now this is a really weird boss because we can't really use Explosivo against Clutch because this the bodies don't take damage. And look at this. Easy damage. Wait, you're not dead? Oh my gosh. You weren't dead. We'll take Jesus Juice. And yeah, that's not too bad. I'm going to get give it, get like, get rid of some of my health. And we'll just go down this way. I think I already got everything on that floor. So far, this run hasn't been the best, but it's not been the worst either. Did I ever find the item room there? Yeah, I did. I got Dead Eye in the item room. I forgot how early we got the item room there. Jeez. And Deadeye does give us damage every single time we, like, consecutively hit a tier. And if we miss that, that tier, we get less damage. We lose that buff. Like, right there, I missed. But I don't know what counts it as hitting. I think if a tier hits an enemy before, a tier shot before that misses an enemy, you don't lose your chance. It's really weird. Sometimes you just don't lose it when you miss. It feels like. Like, right there, I missed... I didn't lose my damage buff. So, like, I just don't know what red tears are what red tears. It's so confusing. How am I supposed to know? Um, the beggar don't need you. I know it's like a weird thing just to keep holding on to the judgment card, just hoping for a secret room with a reroll machine. But the day that I get the reroll re machine with judgment card in hand is the day you guys all realize that I've been doing it right this whole time. It's just we're planning ahead. Like, there's not many other cards that we really need to win this run, but to have more fun, we want anything that can spawn us items. So, like, a Stars card, a Reverse Stars card, or a Reverse um, Lover's card would be awesome right now. But the Judgment card is our best bet when it comes to just randomly spawning any item that we're okay with getting rid of. Nice. I'm just going to blow this up. 
Nice. And might as well open all this. We don't know what we're going to get. And Demon Damon's tail is not really too bad. It doesn't really help us too much either. Um, Damon's tail does make it so we have a higher chance of getting black hearts. But I don't think that chance is higher than us getting the soul hearts from coins. So I think we're good with what we have. I feel like this is the secret room. It's not. All I want is a secret room. That's all I'm really looking for. I do need to go to the curse room. I keep forgetting to go into it, I feel like. I've gotten into it most floors, but I just run past it a lot. Look at that. So many soul hearts. The chance of you getting it is kind of crazy. And I'll blow this up. Nice. What the heck? How did I dodge so much that I actually dodge into another tier? That was impressive. And gee, look at all that health. Okay, two of clubs. Definitely gonna grab that. Just gonna pop it immediately though. Cause I don't really need that many bombs. Also, I wanna keep the judgment card. I know it's a weird card, once again. Don't need to hold on to it, but I'm okay with holding on to it. Okay, oh my gosh. I don't know why I didn't expect that. Probably should've. We have so much health. I have not really been too concerned about health this entire run. It is better just to have as much health as I possibly can and not take a lot of damage. But the more damage I take, the stronger we are. Bozo, what the heck? We just saw this the other day. So Bozo, the first hit of damage we take on a floor spawns a rainbow poop. So you can use that kind of strategically. Um, oh my gosh, what am I doing? You can use it kind of strategically to like sacrifice or to use blood donation blood donation machines. Now we don't have a lot of red heart health, so it's not as useful as it could be, honestly, but it's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this game is not liking what's happening here. And I can't get the stuff that went behind this pillar. Jeez. I was, I was hoping for items, not just random consumables, but that works as well. I'm just gonna blow both these up. Thank you. What the heck, why is my tear rate? Oh, my tear rate is so high because of Bloody Gust. I always forget about Bloody Gust. And ooh, well, I'm gonna go use this in the secret room. I feel like there's probably better rooms I could use it in. Uh, like the angel deal or the devil deal but there's always a chance that instead of getting a present you get poop so it really doesn't matter i kind of just want to use this in any room i can right now and that's pretty crazy i might as well take mega mush it gives us invincibility we have a lot of health so i don't really need invincibility at what like at all this just makes me super strong and i like it okay, pop pop Don't need Ace of Hearts. The Stars card could be nice, but I don't care about it. I'm just gonna go fight the mask. And I don't know why I'm using this right now, but this works out. I just wanted to fight this boss as fast as possible. And geez, this game really does not like me right now. And once again, it's another item that I don't care about. I will go to the next floor. And they did make it so it no longer crashes the game to go through the trap door as your big version. The game gets a little confused still, I think, but it's not too bad. And I still have flight. That's why I was able to walk over some of the stuff. I'll make sure not to go into the the shop until I get everything. I'm going to make sure not to go into the shop before I grab that trinket. That's what I'm, I was trying to say. Okay. Because I really want familiars. Familiars are good. Especially if there's a reroll machine in the shop. That'd be sick. Um... We could fight Ultra Green in the shop, technically, but I haven't blown up any shopkeepers, so the chance of that should be relatively low. We'll just see what happens. Oh my gosh. Nice. Might as well hop in here real quick. And we have a lot of health on this floor, so I'm probably going to sacrifice a good amount. I wish I had more Red Heart health, but... I'm just going to do this right now to see what we can get. Because if we can go to the deal from sacrificing, it will take us to the angel deal. Guaranteed. Okay. Oh, that blew up the poop. Kind of messed up my strat. And of course, I am going to fight both the angels in here while I can. 
because I do want all the key pieces. And I'll take you. Beautiful. Let's fight you. I need to make sure not to accidentally step on the spikes. I've done that before where I'm playing the game. I sacrifice, and as I'm fighting the angel, I just randomly step on the spikes. It's not a good look, let me tell you. It's quite bad. And no reroll machine. I'm sad. Ooh, but look, it's Ultra Pride. And I did, um... People were explaining uh, what... Um, why Ultra Pride looks like this. And they said it was poking fun at Ed and Flor Florian, the people who made the Binding of Isaac. Which is pretty cool. I never knew that. Ooh, I should have rerolled that. Definitely should have rerolled that. Uh, pretty Fly. And Pretty Fly. Nice. Tears Up is huge. Gulp is also really nice. So I did really like the trinket we had. It makes it so getting money later in the game is actually worthwhile still. And Swallowed Penny plus... Um, that's really good. Swallowed Penny plus the... What is this called? What's this trinket? Plus the Blessed Penny would be insane to have. Because any anytime you take damage, you drop money. And anytime you pick up money, you can get health. So like, kind of big moves. So I'm just going to go in here. I don't need this, but I'll take it, I guess. Is there a card that I left somewhere? There is. I want to go take the Judgment card back. I'll go get that later. I don't need that right now. I'm just going to use Soul Samson. Get out of here, foul beasts. And you can hit Tears away from you. That's why I was able to like not take damage right there. I know, crazy strat. But it's a good one. And look at this. We get Tiny Chub. Or Little... Little Chad and Seraphin. Not the best, not the worst. Don't really care too much about them. I'm just going to donate all the money I have. Because we are in Mausoleum 2. That was not that much money. And that is a gulp pill. So I'll just pop that. Let's go to the item room, see what we can get. Uh, people like Worm Friend a lot. But I don't really care too much about it. It's not going to help me later in the game, I feel like. So I'm fine like this. And now we open up all these chests to see if we can get anything good. Survey says, maybe. Okay, I took a lot of damage right there that I didn't need to take. But we're fine. Hierophant, Finn, you're nice. And we can now go pick up our Judgment card again. We're taking the Judgment card all the way. I really don't need a health upgrade right now. I'm pretty satisfied with only having Soul Hearts for the most part. And there's nothing else in the other room, so I don't need to go check them. I could go dark room if I really felt like it, but I don't really feel like that. So I still want to go get like my, all my angel deal chances or all my devil deal and angel deal chances. Surprisingly, I've not taken a single devil deal item. There really hasn't been any devil deal items worth taking. Now, some people might be like, "You should have just gone angel deals from the get go." Probably should have. But hindsight is 2020, and I don't know why I'm only getting devil deals, but this is fine. More devil deals, I just honestly don't care about. You might be like, just get, take it. I don't need to lose health over that. Like, it's like the charcoal sack or black sack or whatever it's called. Just not good. Uh, and then Hungry Soul. I love Hungry Soul, but there's not really a need for me to take it, in my opinion. And now we can just do this. We have so much damage. Get me out of here. I can also just walk through rooms if I really need to. We have flight, so we can just do this. Let's go look for the secret room real quick. Nice. Rock bottom is huge. Rock bottom is actually insanely huge. What the heck? What? what <laughs> rock bottom <laughs> with this is so dumb. What the heck? Because we have dead eyes still, so it still works with this. And I'll be back here in a second. I want to go see if I can get one more shot in. And look at that. Now our tears are absolutely crazy. If I take a bunch of damage, I can max out my... Tier rate. Or, yeah, I can max out my tier rate really well. Two spades is good. High priestess, don't need it. Credit card, don't really need credit card. Get out of jail free, I also don't need, but I guess I can take it. I'll take credit card, I guess. Dang. This, this run went from, like, being just not the best to being pretty insane. And that's kind of just how runs are. Like, it can just change in an instant. Um, but sadly, we really won't see much more stat increases because we kind of have as much damage as I think we can have. Pretty fly doesn't help. Don't be a teleport. Thank you. Luckily, we're already past our max tier, so we can't lose tiers anymore. 
We can still lose tiers, but we have to use like four tiers down before we lose any tiers. Just so people are understand what I'm talking about. That is a tinted rock. We already went to the secret room. Now, honestly, this is just like this just went really well all of a sudden. If someone look for a crawl space, that'd be nice. I'm not gonna like look for it too hard, but we're solid. Okay, did I already spawn my poop for this floor? What the heck? I don't really care too much about that. Jeez. So much damage. If I get a damage up, and I can go back into my Mega Mush form, I'm going to be super, super OP. And I can get really, really high damage later. Um, like in the Mega Satan fight, it, you can't really miss a shot on Mega Satan. So you can just hit a bunch of shots in a row. So as long as I save the Magic Mush for there, or the Mega Mush for there, I'll be very solid. Like, look at this damage. This is the amount of damage you see, like, on a really, really cracked run. And that's, like, that's why people like Rock Bottom so much, because you can get really cracked stats very easily. But still just not one of my favorites, honestly. It's too situational. Like, if I didn't have Mega Mush right now, I would only get, like, high tier rate. That's about it. And, like, high tier rate is really good, but it doesn't really help me too much. And I'll take you. We'll come down here, of course. I have the credit card, which is nice. And the damage up is huge. That's what I was talking about. If I got a single damage up, then I could get like a bunch more damage. Uh, I will take you because conjoined would be nice. And I will take Sissy because everybody loves Sissy. Then here, I still have. It doesn't really matter. I'll just take this. Since that diarrhea doesn't matter. And I'll just go fight. Easy as that. I'm actually going to take some damage first. I know this might be a weird idea. Actually, I guess I don't need to take damage right now. Taking damage on purpose is a little dumb. Okay. Now right here, we shoot our tears up here, and we get de the Deadeye effect. Deadeye gets our damage to max, and this is the max damage that we can have on this run now. And yeah, your tiers do crazy damage in this form. Now, it's not that crazy compared to, like, your contact damage, but still really, really good. And Mega Mush is just such an insane item. I don't usually take it because it is... It makes the game very, very easy. But on this run, I didn't really have anything else too crazy, so I just want to take it. It's, it's just like an insurance policy kind of thing. Where, like, no matter what, I knew I could survive the run because I had Mega Mush. Okay... If I stand here, I should be fine. I don't know about right here. Probably not fine. Somehow I am fine. Let's go. And this is some crazy DPS. I do want to maybe take a little bit more damage on this floor. Yeah, a little bit more damage to get my tiers to the highest they can be. Once again, I do know it's dumb to take damage, but might as well get as much as much tier rate as possible. And I do have some health back here. I might as well blow some of these up. And the reason why you always blow these rocks up is because it is the most likely spot during your entire run that you can get a crawl space. Because if there is going to be a crawl space on this floor, it can only be under these rocks because these are the only rocks on the floor other than these four. And that was some. That was some rhymes. That was some cr sick rhymes. I'm dumb. So some diarrhea. Come with me. Okay. No crawl space, it looks like. And I understand. Don't have much health. Some people might be like, I don't know why you take so much damage. I just want to get my tier rate, like, my damage as high as I possibly could. That way, I don't even need to use Mega Mush anymore. Like, I have the stats from Mega Mush already. And please give me items. I want items. Items. Magic Mush? Dang. I'm going to take... Do I want to take this instead? Part of me feels like I do. Eh, I don't really care about my flies too much. I'll have my two flies that each do like 120 damage. That's fine with me. I think it's probably better not to... Not to take that item. Okay, all good. I'm fighting.
And the reason why the only time I can get my damage to go any higher is when I'm in the Mega Mush form is because Mega Mush gives me a huge damage up. So that means there is literally no other time where uh, where I can surpass the damage that I'm already at. And you have to surpass the damage you're already at to get a higher stat, which means that you have to go from your base stats, which you have underneath like that high score. It's really weird. Rock bottom is really strange. I think most people at this point should understand how it works, um, whether they've watched videos about it or that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's actually weird. Whenever I first made my video uh, on how rock bottom works, lots of people got mad at me because they're like, I forgot who it was. Some person, maybe Chemicat or somebody made a video of like how rock bottom works or like, and they made it literally like two days before me. Now, one thing that people don't understand is a video of like scale, that kind of scale, I guess you could make really, really quickly um, in two days, but that video maybe took me like a week to make. And so if I release a video two days after somebody else, it just means that we both had the idea at the same time for whatever reason. And then we made a video about it. And that was a video that I was sitting on for a long time because I didn't understand how it worked. So I just assumed a lot of other people didn't know. So if you don't know how it works, go watch that video. Yeah, like that brings me to another topic of I never understood whenever I made my ultimate guide to Binding of Isaac There are people who are mad about the fact that I would I was like, hey If you want to know more about this topic go watch this other video I made they're like why are you telling why are you just trying to like go get us to watch a bunch of your other videos The reason why is because I spent weeks on those other videos and I'm not gonna Redo all that work in another video and I want people to go see that like other videos I put like hard work into So anybody who's mean you can stop. Oh, I messed up real bad. Dang, I was supposed to get her right there. Hey, it doesn't matter. I'll take you. Take you. Take you. Take you. Nope, I don't want you. I'm just going to come in here. And I think I should be able to get a new high damage stat. Okay, we use this. Yeah, look at that. Shoot, 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 shoot. That's a lot of damage. Stand under me, losers. I could have gotten a lot more items. I was just kind of autopiloting. Yeah. When I saw those comments, I was like, dang, that's dumb. Like, I understand some people don't understand, like, how much work goes behind videos. But still, it's like, if, I, if somebody linked me to another video that they created, I would, if I wanted to know more about it, I would gladly go look at the other video. Because I'm the one who's looking for that information. Yeah, so like if I'm watching like a Linus Tech Tip video and they're like, oh, go check out this other video if you want to watch more. Sometimes I go and watch that. Sometimes I don't. It's depending if I want to watch or not. Some people are just a little crazy. But there we go. We are going to go to Delirium because let's be honest, I'm pretty busted. It's going to be hard to lose this run. Now, is it possible for me to lose this run? 100%. But I do have a laser beam that does like 70 damage. I think that's like a 25% damage reduction, so it should be like 70, I think. Maybe like 72. But it's damage per tick, which is actually insanely high. Okay. Jeez. Man, I'm not really too concerned about this floor. I'm just, I just really want to get to Delirium as fast as possible. And this is a crazy fast run. Okay. Oh gosh. My damage. Just kidding, I still have it. I'm just look at this. Hello, Mega Satan. Die. There's so many pixels on the screen that are just there. It's hurting my head a little bit. A little baggy does make it so we can no longer get cards, which is fine with me. I don't really care about cards. It's a little rough. And look at this. You pick a perfection, you put it down, and we have guaranteed plus 10 luck for the rest of the run. Let's go, baby. If we ever get more luck, then we can go back and get perfection. We don't have to carry it with us and lose it. It's the beauty of this game. And I've done this before where I've had rock bottom and not taken perfection because I'm like, well, I'm going to lose that. Always pick up stuff. Whenever you have perfection, pick up every trinket, put it back down if you want to. Or if, like, if you want to get like higher stats. But some, for some reason, like, I'm not firing fires. Okay, I'm firing fire as often as I thought I would. 
For, for a second, it was it just wasn't shooting fire. I'll take you. Okay, you are just not dying. Okay, what are you gonna have? Anything? Mom's underwear. This is so bright. I don't know why that's so bright. That was dumb damage. But sometimes dumb damage happens, you know? Nice. There is a tinted rock right there. Might as well pop this. Hey, soul hearts are wonderful. This should be a dead end right here, I'm guessing. Yep, let's go. I don't love dead ends, but I called it, which is what's cool to me. I'm just gonna start bombing walls. I do want to find the secret room, but it's not that deep. If I find it, it's cool. If I don't, it doesn't really matter. I already got like the one item that anybody really cares about. Unless I got Arky, which then I'd be like, dang, that's crazy. Arky is pretty dang awesome. And death certificate. But I'm content. Nice. I didn't read the seed off today. The seed is QPACEL9S. Don't know if I said it earlier. I mean, I know I didn't read it at the beginning of the run. That's on me. But there it is. Sorry for forgetting to read the seed. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes I'm just dumb. Which happens. This just hurts my eyes. Okay, where's the boss fight? Show it to me. Are you still alive? What in the world? That's one resilient sack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What the heck? I thought that we were getting close to the end of the map. No, this map just keeps going on and on. It goes on and on and on. On and on and on. Yeah. I don't, that was not the right rhythm or notes whatsoever. I want to celebrate it with my life. Hey, hey, yo. Baby, let's go. Ooh. A run with gold pills is a good run. Nice. We do have pill baggies, so I can actually carry more than one pill. But this is going to be... This is not delirium. What the heck? I don't think I'll ever find Delirium, if I'm being honest. If I use Mega Mush twice, do I get double the damage? I feel like you might. I don't know if it stacks like that. It would kind of be dumb if it did. But if it did, it'd kind of be sick. Don't care about Amnesia. Tears Up is fine. And what are you? Luck Up! I don't really care about going back and getting perfection. It's really far away. I could get perf my per or my luck up to like thir 14 at this point, but a 13.55. I don't think that matters. And this cannot be delirium right here, but it is going to be a random boss. So I will fight so I can get an item. Nice. I do like number two. Not a bad item. And geez. This is just... Such a big floor. It's actually wild. Now I think the only item that would like be really, really good for me right now at this point would be Monikel's power. Because it would give me enough damage to get like a huge damage up when I use Mega Mush. Okay, it does not stack the damage. Which is too bad. But I should be okay. We have a lot of fire, a lot of damage. And we're just dumbly OP. If you guys didn't know, the Delirium version, I think, takes the most damage of any of the forms. So, whenever you see that, go crazy. I will do this real fast. We already got Magic Mush. It's not like I can really do much else. But what a crazy, crazy run we just had. Absolutely dummy damage. Absolutely just crazy items. Even though we got, like, no items from any sort of deals. Yeah, we didn't take any Devil Deal items, which is crazy. That's, like, the... the only no deal run I have, I've had in a long, long time. Where, like, I've gotten deals but just not taken anything. But anyways, that right there is going to be win number 230. Sorry, I burped in a row. So if you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel. It helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's in Preets. Peace out. Bye.